important to learning something new. Um, for me, it gives me a lot of focus because a lot of things work related can be very monotonous and basic for me. Um, so I look at new ways to do it because like PowerPoint, I find so antique these days. So I look at new software and new developments to do it in a better way. Going multimedia, having videos, audio, um, music, etc um whiteboards all this you know different ways of doing it even work related i i do all this stuff um because it keeps you focused on um things that interest you because though it's work related and you may not get it paid for it which is something companies a lot of companies don't seem to understand is a lot of time it's nothing about money improving your skills even if you left that company benefits you in, and your future companies it's not about financial gain the the, the financial gain um, is irrelevant it's all about keeping work interesting you should always have a continuous development but outside of that it's healthy to have other hobbies and things it's healthy to go down the garden shed on a Friday and do model making do model railways do uh photography or whatever whatever you want to do but it's important that you create these things find them find what you're interested in go back to stuff that you used to do as a kid and you enjoyed because you realize that hey you've got money as well now so you can spend a bit more i mean i don't even know how much i've spent in photography over the years um i'm not a fantastic photographer but that's sort of irrelevant it's the um, positive mental health stuff and the positive aspects in my life relating to the fact that I enjoy photography is more important than the money I've spent. Um, do what, do all this stuff yourself. Make yourself happy. This stuff makes you happy because it's it's something you're interested in. It's disconnected from your work. It's disconnected from problems at home. Even it actually removes the things that are um, difficult or stressful in your life because you're going, right, oh, on Friday I'm going to go and do this this week. Been looking forward to it for the last month, blah, blah, blah. So although they're going, like say, you've had problems getting your pay this month, although it's in your back of your mind, going, oh, I hope they sort that out by Monday, you'll be going, oh, but uh, tomorrow I've got to go uh, to this um, show, you know, exhibit or whatever, I'm looking forward to it, blah, blah, blah. And the the pay problems go out of your head because there's nothing you do about it till Monday. So why worry about it? But on top of that, you've got something to replace it with and a positive, positive focus. Because otherwise, what happens? You sit at home, um, bored because you've got no money, blah, 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 going, I do hope they sort my ways out all weekend. You don't want that. Remove it from your mind. You can't do anything about it, so don't worry about it. Get on to something else. Do something you can do. And even if it affects you going away that weekend, think of what you can do there and then. Um, can you borrow the money till Monday off somebody else that, you know, that's a friend and understands? Or even say to your boss, you owe me the money. You know you do. Can I have an advance at least whatever it's going to cost to go to the show? It says, because it's going to ruin my weekend otherwise. Whatever you do, don't let things ruin your downtime, your spare time, your holiday time, your your time. And then obviously on top of that, you've got your family time, which is another kettle of fish. Thanks for watching.